Mark Adder, what's up, buddy? Thank you for the good luck. Good luck to you, too. Rico, one for each of you. <clears throat> I look like I'm way over here to the to the right. What happened there? Hang on one second. Having to adjust everything because we're doing other things in the stream here lately and we're doing scratch offs and stuff on the channel now and to make the screen big enough for everybody to see the tickets you got to make the screen bigger my brother is in the house what's up Wesley I'm gonna try I can't play no damn masters though that kind of sucks I I don't know what happened last week. I really don't. I was in 42nd or 44th place. So I was good position to stay in the master level. And lo and behold, <laughs> two days go by and I'm in like 88th place and I got demoted. I don't know how that happened, but got to go with what the bosses say. All right, what are we doing here? Let me get my paper out. I am not organized. I do have just some elevations written down. I don't like this course. Um, we are doing baby and rookie. We are doing junior. We're doing this two and pro and then Big Bubba and JD and Expo. So we're gonna try five accounts and They all make it great. If they don't, no promises on retrying them. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Um, I don't have anything going on Saturday as of right now. Sunday, my wife and I are going to see Travis Tripp, my favorite of all times, live in concert. I am looking forward to that. What the heck happened there? So what's up with this? What's up with this name? Did anybody notice something odd or off or missing? Get set, go tournament. No ready, no golf clash. Just get set, go. Ready, get set, go. No, just me. I feel like there's something missing there. And those teams above us are freaking playing a lot of tour play. All right, so we're gonna start off with Golf Clash coming up in just a second. 
We have six out of 10 spots filled up now, four more people. Anybody that would be interested in jumping in with us, $65 entry fee. We go through PayPal. If you happen to be outside of the US, um, I need 65 US dollars sent to me and you're welcome to jump in it. I already have one person that's outside of the US that is in. Um, we are not collecting the monies yet until we have all 10 spots filled and we are doing a $600 full book of $10 scratch off tickets and once we get the full 10 roster in we will collect monies at that time and I will let everybody know a date and time which will be probably within the next day or so um, I will go get the monies out I will go get the book we will set it up and we will go live um, we are going to do the lives from my living room, dining room area, sorry, not living room, dining room area at the dining room table. And I, my wife bought me a little setup thing that will hold the camera, which will be my phone over top of the tickets and we'll be able to get a good view of them that way. Um, I'll call out the numbers just like I did on the last one. I will pay closer attention and not scratch the wrong number. So if nobody saw that last video, oh boy, I um, have had a headache now for four days up in the temple top of my head because I think I pulled a muscle out of my neck because y'all couldn't see me because the camera was facing down at my desk. I jumped up out of my seat and I was... It was loud. I listened back to the video for the first time today. What's up, Slasher? How you doing, brother? And uh, I really think I might have pulled a neck muscle or something because I've been having headaches now for four days. Um, there was five matching numbers on a ticket, and I saw a four and I saw the two four and I started to scratch that and I said oh my god there's big zeros and I started getting loud and then I scratched it was a third zero and a thousand dollars underneath that number and I went ape shit and it was the wrong number and it ended up being a ten dollar winning ticket oh my god I, I still laughed at it listening to it now my wife's like I, I gotta go smoke buzzies i need my medicine i need my pills <laughs> i about gave us all a heart attack anyhow um we're gonna be doing some giveaways we are tonight anybody that's watching right now and anybody that comes in later radu what's up buddy welcome in um anybody that's watching now or comes back and sees this as a video later Come back tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, I have a full book sitting right behind my monitors here on my shelf. Um, I also have some uh, scratch-off tickets that we, me and Buzzy bought together um, as giveaways. What's up, waiter? Thank you for the good luck. Good luck to you. So we will be having a couple giveaways tonight. Uh, throughout the scratching of our tickets that we went on me Buzzy and Justin all three went three ways and bought another $300 book of tickets um, but we have three four four spots we need filled what's up Russell how you doing brother thank you for the good luck and good luck to everybody so we do have four spots still available the roster is as so we have 10 spots me buzzy wesley justin jeffrey and blanca we have those six spots full we need four more people that want in and the good old brick wall now my wife's going to come in here do you knock for me oops um Thank you, Tate. Good luck to you, too. So four spots available, $65 to enter. If you're outside of the U.S., which I already have a name on there that's outside of, I need $65 U.S. dollars sent to me um, via PayPal or Zelle, however it's easiest to do it for you. And 
at the end there's basically um, two options on the ending of the tickets I can either send out a money order to that person outside of the US or you can play the next book and roll that over and it'll take the amount owed for the next book which if it's 65 and say you end up winning I don't know say $30 back you can say just roll that $30 over and then you'll only owe 35 for the next book that we do if that makes sense Jans B what's up buddy thank you for the good luck good luck to you <clears throat> I kind of do too Russell I wish it would have been a vacation for you. I wish we were all on a vacation this week, actually. Uh, that sounds familiar, Jens B. I'm not sure of the Cove part, but the Portello rings the bells. So... If anybody's interested, feel free. Uh, if you comment, you want in in the chat. I'm a little bit on the busy side with trying to follow what I'm going to be doing here once we get started. Make um, send me a message over on my Facebook. I have no flipping idea if this damn. Streamlabs chatbot thing is gonna work or not if that doesn't work just in case you can message me on Facebook at that name there let me know you want in and the four spots remaining the first one that says they're in is number seven number eight number nine and then number ten when the ten spots are full I will get with everybody to send over their payment and then I will as soon as the payments come in, I will go to the bank, get the money, I will go get the book, and we will get it started. So we're gonna do a rookie, two pro, and two experts here, and we're gonna get it started. And again, come back tonight at eight o'clock, we're gonna be going live. I can't figure out how to set a scheduled stream to set a reminder for anybody. Uh, when I went to set the reminder scheduled stream, it wanted me to go on my OBS and show live, and I wasn't going to be going live at that moment, so that did me no good. So tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, I have a book of uh, Gold Rush Platinum, I think they're called, and it's a $300 book, and we also have giveaways going out with them. Oop, I almost hit that one. <clears throat> right, we got to do something on this because this is a crap account with no monies, no nothing. I want to start par four, 10%. Three, two, eight, four. Four, three, two. And we're going to start with that. I have no idea. I I think I remember this. Um, I think this used to be a Tour 12 course, and they I think moved since they moved them around. I think it's something different now. <clears throat> Unless it's in a tournament, I've never played Tour 12. I don't have it open yet. I have Tour 11 on my main account open, and that's it. I remember the name. Um, I'm almost certain that we have had that name in a tournament. I just can't remember because it's it has been a while. Uh, 
All right, so we are just kind of just kind of winging this one. Well, if this is the uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yep, there you go. I have no idea when. I know for a fact these have been in tournaments. It's probably been four to six months range. I don't like it either. And if you're a Tour 12 player, you got a hell of an advantage over everybody else. Because this used to be Tour 12 stuff. Alright, we're going to go to 5% at 31. Oh, they moved this one into 10. I haven't played Tour 10 since I closed it. Mm -mm. I'll just stick with the Tour 9 points. One of these years, I'm going to get in and play more tour 11 I just a couple trophies I got in it I don't want to lose them for tasty smoothies and faster food prep ninja ninja it get 40% off a ninja BL 685 blender Amazon treasure truck Shut up. Send me something I asked for, not something I don't give two craps about. <clears throat> Alright, hole number two. Part three with a right to left. Hmm. This is not a good course for rookie clubs and rookie players. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So when we do our live stream tonight and any given time outside of my bedroom here, it's gonna kinda suck a little bit because we don't have Call that about 80 ish percent. I won't have music and all that good stuff and fun stuff to play while we're out there because I'm not monetized. So, two, six. It will be from the app.
I was just thinking in my head out loud almost that I just turn on some music or something with uh, Alexa. But uh, yeah, that would be copyrighted. I want to go fishing. My wife don't want to go. It's too hot. It is hot outside. We are getting a lot of rain too though, every day for like two and a half, three weeks now, every day. It's raining, 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 raining. So again, we got 11 of you in here now, and eight thumbs up. Thank you for those thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you are new in here and that button below is red, we are 155 away from 1,000 subs. Please click that button, share the video, put it on Facebook, tell your friends, hey, even if you never watched this fat ass, come click the red button and help a buddy out. It's really appreciated, and as soon as I hit that thousand mark, too, I'm call, or calling, I'm emailing the vice president of slots at Tampa and saying, check it out, you said you'd talk to me. Freaking headwind on this. Oh, Christ. That's real sweet of you there, Playdemic. You got a bunch of rookie players with crap clubs and you're gonna give them a head one on a par five. That's dirty. Dirty, dirty. Drama, what's up, buddy? Oop, I'm on the wrong screen. Jeffrey, what's up, brother? Good luck, everybody. And if you're doing rookie, guess what you get? Freaking headwind on a hole like this. And it's not gonna be four nine headwind, but still headwind. I get you. We're going to be doing the same thing they just did. Can't reach. We have to hope for the third shot.
And also, if anybody is new that didn't come in in the beginning and hasn't rewound anything, we have four spots available still for the $10 scratch off, $600 book. If you're interested, shoot me a message on Facebook or go to my other videos that I've posted in the last couple days and comment on one of the lottery scratch off videos. Let me know that you would like in. It's $65 to enter. I will be doing all the legwork, getting the books and everything. Thank you for the good luck. Thank you for the booms, Wesley and Bama. Appreciate it. for a blast shot and they were going to get wet. Thank you, Drama. 34. channel everybody gets to turn blue that way whenever you come in if you're not blue there's only a couple people I know out there that are not and probably possibly won't be but I turn pretty much everybody blue that way when you come in if you're gray I know you're new <clears throat>
Dan the man, what is up buddy? Thank you for the good luck, good luck to you. If you're playing the mini. And y'all make sure to come back tonight at eight o'clock Eastern time. We're gonna be doing another full book of scratch off, $5 ticket, $300 book. And we'll be having some give giveaways involved. The giveaways are going to revolve around people in the chat guessing a number without going over the winning number. I got a number generator on the iPad. We'll put it up under the camera. We'll spin the wheel, whatever the number lands on closest without going over has a chance of winning some money on some scratch-offs for a giveaway. Four, five, head win on a par five again. You guys are pricks. Absolute freaking jerks. 10%. Hmm. Come on, Pandemic. What are y'all thinking, man? Masters on four counts. Awesome. I wish I could play one. I don't know what happened. There was two days left in the tour play crap. And I played, I was in 42nd or 44th place. And then two days later, I'm in 88th place. I got demoted back down from Masters to Expert. How in the hell that many people in my one bracket I was in of tour play... They all played that much to knock me that far down. I have a hard time seeing that. I didn't think that would come in that quick. I don't think that, no, but it's just a little bit odd that you don't normally lose double places from where you're at from two days ago. Now, clans, yes. Clans, that can happen in the blink of an eye. If your team ain't playing and all the others are playing, yeah. But I played a lot of games and I was only in 42nd some odd place and then out of nowhere, two days later, I'm in regulation zone. Now, whatever the case may be, I got knocked back out of freaking master level on my main account again. First time it happened to me, it was because I just didn't play. I really didn't even think about it. Just didn't play any, and that was my fault, 100%. This time, I just can't explain how I lost that many spots in just a matter of two days. 
it was different. That had to have been what it was, just that damn many people played at the last minute and knocked me out. All good, we'll get it back. I've been working on it again this week. I don't know these holes, so I can't picture what this one is, but I got 35% written down. Ugh. Three, seven. Yeah, that's true. I'm not I don't want to go back into tour 10. It was a bitch to get that closed. So I only barely got Tour 11 opened up and played only a couple games on it. Tour 12 I don't have open yet. So I've been mostly most of my tour plays, Tour 9, just 6, 8, 10 games on there get you up high enough normally. This time it did not. go uh, your signs in the way there guys that cameraman should be fired shot on the second one. Yeah. 
you better have a quick finger on your second iPad or whatever device you're playing on to hit stop when they're spinning and you don't match up because then you got two games going at the same time and I know my luck both my turns will be up at the same time on both of them Yeah, that ain't gonna make it. I've never tried that. Um, I know me and Wesley have tried teaming up, matching up in uh, the practice for tournament, whatever play, just to goof around. I mean, if it's because we're in the same clan, but we could not ever match up. Play and, and practice shouldn't have any effect on who plays what and where. GC with KB. What's up, buddy? Thank you for the good luck. Good luck to you. I'm right there with you. You get the names that 
you can't read and all that other stuff I get that all the time is I tend to normally if I'm gonna do my tour play stuff it's normally at night somewhere in the 9 to about 11 o'clock at night range and it's all the names you can't read This whole entire course can suck an ass. I hate it. Ten and two. Fucking headwind. All three par fives for rookie headwind. <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm going to try to do here. No clue. I think if I'd have hit perfect, that might have been better.
I need more room on my desk. Simon, what's up, buddy? How are you? On the road on your way to Quebec. Be safe on your travels, buddy. Thank you for stopping in and saying hey. I appreciate that. All right, hang out for me just a second. Let me switch over the account. Do, do, do. We'll be right back. Way up here. Fifty-eight eighty trophies. One year I might get there. Four nine six six. Four nine six six. Nine four six.
I actually like T10 also, Dan. I don't, I haven't, I didn't know they moved these courses into there. I haven't been in it since they did their change. So this will be all foreign to me too. And then the shootouts will be all different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not interested in it right now with the Tour 10 stuff. I got it closed. I'm happy with that. I got a couple wins in T11. And I tend to just goof off on Tour 9 and kind of use it as practice. Try practicing some hooks and slice shots and stuff. Trying to get to know it a little bit better. With all that distance I had between where my ball was going to land and the damn rough up there, six mile an hour pushed me that far. Come to think, I got five accounts to deal with this crap. No clue what the winds are coming up on any of these. All new to me. And I ain't gonna lie, Dan, every time we were watching Dale trying to match up with him on 10, and I saw your name pop up, I'm going, shit. <laughs> next one. Jesus Christ, here we go. I'm going to get real fast into hating the game again. Real quick. 
it doesn't take long to get over the game. Dan, you're probably just as familiar with these holes as anybody. How long ago was the last tournament when we had these? Jens B was in earlier. I don't know if he's still here. He was asking how long ago back were these holes in a tournament. I'm thinking about four to six months ago. Tournaments and tour play and the tour names. I don't know how some of y'all remember all these tour names and what tour they're in and all that. I cannot for the life of me. I guess I just don't pay attention enough to the names of these courses to remember what they're all called. I When somebody says, hey, Green Rich or... Oasis or whatever, I have no clue. No idea what tour they're in. I don't pay enough attention to that. I just say, okay, I've seen this all before and play it. Sometimes I play them okay, sometimes I do not. So they're hitting us with a headwind in pro also. Such jerk offs, man. Just every now and then, throw a bone to each one of the freaking rounds. Good lord. My best driver on this account is the Thor 4. Yeah, I can't remember what they are. And there's so many people out there in this game, people we talk to all the time. They're like, blah, blah, blah. They're, uh, what's his name? The king of all the clubs. Flappy, holy Christ. I don't know if he's got a spreadsheet right in front of him that he's looking at. I just, I don't think it's feasibly possible for somebody to remember all the damn holes like he does. It's insane. Or not all the holes, all the clubs.
he's got to have notes sitting right in front of him. That's just, that, that is so much to remember on every single club, and he answers instant. Flappy's in the room, and you say, Flappy, how many rings is this? Or Flappy, which club is better distance-wise? He's got every club, all the information. Definitely too quick to go online and look it up. That's why I think that kid sat down and I, I think he's got to be a kid. I don't think he's, I don't think he's full grown adult. He might be an adult, but I think he's a very young adult. He's got to have pages and pages of drivers, irons, short irons, wedges, He's got to have that stuff written down. That's just, good Lord. If he memorized all that, that's insane. And then there's people out there that know every hole on every course, just like he knows all the clubs out there. This sucks. Jesus fucking Christ, what are we supposed to do with this? There's no way to make it. That's insane. Now, knowledge of the clubs and all that, that's great, but boy, he pisses off Dan, or I mean, Dale. Dale gets mad with him sometimes. Dale, don't use that club, use this one. <laughs> don't tell me what club to use. You might like this one better than the other one, but that's a 50-50 shot on everything. Some like this, some like that. He likes to tell Dan Dale all the time, hey, use this one. Yeah, well, we're getting a nothing on this one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, fuck off. Why not? Six O five eight. I give up on this one. I'm about to shut this account down and we'll move on to the next one. This one can kiss an ass. This it's JBTV Junior name. It's been a jinx and a thorn in my side since I've ever tried it. Hole four. This sucks. Yeah, I don't care about it. If somebody says, hey, let's go play this hole and we'll practice on it or something. All right, well, you send me the invite. I don't know where you're talking about. <laughs> we can't make it with nothing. This is crazy. Seven two forty seven. This was my oops. I didn't mean to make this account. I was trying to match up my Big Bubba whoop ass name <clears throat> or Big Bubba with Facebook and it made a new account.
So it appears we're going to probably have to go for a second bounce dunk. 59, because it's going to be Grizzly. Archer Matthews, what's up, buddy? Trick shots of golf. Anybody that new has come in, if you haven't seen any of the recent last couple short videos that I've made, we need four people to fill up a roster of 10. Six of us are already in, and we are gonna do a $600 book of scratch offs. As soon as we fill the roster, this stuff then comes up. A lot on my plate today. You got it, buddy. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. But we are doing a $600 scratch off book. We need four more spots filled up. And then we can go get the book and get it ready to go. And tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, we are doing another $300 scratch off book out in the living room or dining room. I keep saying living room. And I'll be using my phone with the app because I'm not monetized yet. But we'll be using an app <clears throat> to go live with. And I'll be watching chat from the iPad. And my wife and Buzzy, they'll be watching their iPads to see chat and so on. And should be, again, a fun time. Minus the mistake that I made of scratching off the wrong number on the first attempt because I scratched off one that said we won a thousand bucks and we still had four more winning numbers to go oops I think that's where my headache came from I think I pulled a muscle in my neck jumping up screaming and yelling but y'all couldn't see me with the camera hanging down I thought we hit a monster 10% So if you haven't seen that, that one's funny. That actually made me laugh today. I rewatched it for the first time. And you can hear how loud I got. Oops, on the microphone. I thought we hit a big one. It's $65 to enter. If anybody else is interested, message me on Facebook or go to one of those videos and leave a comment down below on there and I will get that and get you set up in the roster. I'm trying to give everybody on here first shots at it and then I'm gonna bring it up to my family and see if any of them are interested I know my sister and brother-in-law my mom and dad they're all kind of into the gambling thing I know Dan's not Dan is not into the gambling Just to prove Playdemic has run out of ideas, they have two open balls. They have open 2020 and now open 2021. I 
five, four, that's four, eight. We'll go back. Five, four, we're gonna go up two and a half rings. That is agreed. Just a one side spin, needle speed two, and it's a uh, what, five four or four five? One of the two. I think it's a power five win four. Quad, what's up, buddy? Peace. I got the 1999 pack of them. I'm gonna be done soon getting balls though, cause I got so many in this main account. Ugh. So it's a 415. What's up, Blade? How you doing, buddy? Thank you for the good luck, and good luck to you. That made up for hole one. Thank you, Wesley. Vivek, what's up, buddy? <clears throat> David, how you doing, sir? Welcome in, guys. Thank you for the boom. All that did was made up for hole one. 35. And I didn't notice what the wind was. It is a flipping tailwind. Still not enough backspin. <sighs> Dropping from the freaking sky, it's kind of hard to stop the ball.
Thank you, David. I appreciate it. Good luck to you. <clears throat> now I gotta hit perfect again. Rockin' Rocco Slots, what's up, buddy? Excellent dude, how you doing, sir? <clears throat> I've missed a couple stupid ones. I've made a couple. It's hit and miss. How are the slots treating you, Rocco? doing good freaking hole one damn it they're up and down the same with us my wife and I with the Kino it's up and down last weekend we were doing okay and we gave it all back couple weekends before that they destroyed us whooped our tails Every time we go though, I go there expecting the worst, hoping for the best, because no matter what, the house always wins, but there's that chance out there that that day we could beat them. Did I play pro the first round or something? The freaking wins are the same on pro now as they are on the other one. I'm rookie. Boy, everybody's jumping to the new ball. You don't need it here. You only get one spin. That's it. You just never know. And it sucks too when you're on a machine and you're like, screw it, I'm getting off of this crap. You get off that machine, the next person sits down two spins, they win a billion damn dollars. What's up, buddy? Makes you want to go own the machine. Right through the freaking screen of it.
13 with the APOC 4 Masters. Very nice. If my cloud bot was working, which it is not, I would get you an exclamation boom in the chat, but it is not working and it hasn't worked in about three or four streams now. I don't know why. It shows that it's on, but it will not do anything or say anything. We can give it a shot again. I just rebooted it. change anything I didn't do anything it's kind of like OBS you turn it on and Kidding me. That's why it's not working. It says I have nothing. Hmm. Now it makes sense. Uh, no, Vivek, I'm doing five accounts. I'm doing a rookie, two pro, and two expert. I don't have my main accounts, not even masters anymore. I got demoted. Stupid. Have to play tour play crap. forward to doing a master round, but no, cannot do it. I'm going to have to disagree with Tommy because we got numbers from him and he claims that'll work drama. Tommy claims that this is a 5% hole. It is not. If that is 5% then I'm Willy Wonka. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now you're way up there, Drama. If you're expert three, I'm not expert three. I'm expert two on both of my accounts. If you're expert two, then there's a good chance we can match up. But I'm not quite at that stage yet. Anybody that remembers when I kind of first started, that's my old logo, there's my picture in there. It was, I have a shirt my wife made for me, it wasn't a golf ball, it wasn't any of that, it's just the Superman Dallas Cowboys look, pulling a shirt open. I had no idea what to do and make for a logo. Okay, I'm just making sure. My baby account jumped immediately to rookie three. This is the first tournament I entered with that account. I won it. And now I think it's a pro three. And I've never played a pro tournament with it yet. Gotta get close to reach, but that's a difficult shot. drive on this too. Well, you can't get any closer than that. I think there was a blade of rough grass that the ball bumped into.
Hopefully get some big winners. It's out there. This is gonna be for when we get winners. My cowbell. It'll either be my wife or Buzzy ringing the bells. Well, the fun part is when me scratching them is there's a delay while they're watching the stream. <laughs> so there's, they're seeing the video. Did you tell the whole got, world what you did. Yeah, they the whole world I think saw it. So it's probably viral on YouTube. Nah, it, it didn't have that many views. It was pretty funny, not funny. I went back and watched it, it made me laugh again. <laughs> You're such a jerk. It was. 83 views on it, so however many see it at one time. Are you in jail? Huh? No, just a brick wall behind me. Stupid hole one. Should be good because you got nothing to do. Oh, alright. My main account, dude. I still got three more to go to get to that one. I will be right back. I'm going to switch over to guess who. Y'all hear that? Pizza for dinner. I'm getting pizza. Who's coming over? Adam's lurking in the background. He's going to chime in. I'm on my way. What the hell does cheeky mean? Is that some foreign language or something? Or is that an English thing? What the hell is cheeky? Cheeky. I will never ever put that in my thing of the emoji stuff. It will never ever go there. That's the third different clan they've been in. Cheeky equals sarcastic. Where is, is that an English saying? It's like the people over there on the other side of the pond, they call others wankers and stuff. And calling them a wanker to us is like saying you're an asshole. got to be something different because I've never heard it. You got a pretty cheeky. I'd like to kiss you on the cheeky. Alright, one more pro and then two experts. And we are going with bag 4, 5, 10, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. A bunch of eights. All 
Yeah, we'll restock them a little bit. That to me is getting a little bit low. And that's my favorite of all the golf balls. Ten. Until you get up to the higher tours, Quasar is my favorite to use. We're going to bounce off the rock, maybe. How does that go so far? confused on that tee shot on this one. Why is that going so far? Get out the 4x4 four four golf ball on that one. Rock climbing. Five, seven, First hole. I was in a, another stream about a weekish ago or so, and they do kind of like if y'all remember Hollywood Squares, where you had the nine squares of famous actors and stuff in there, and the two guests get questions asked to them, and then the panel of the nine up there have to think of an answer that they might say, and then they get an answer from the guest, and then the... Hollywood Squares, people give what their answers were and they try to get tic-tac-toe. Instead of tic-tac-toe part of it, they just try to guess in each other's answers. And there's a, a picker reseller, first name Philly out there. I can't think of his full name. And he's a Philly fan, obviously, Philadelphia Eagles. And he goes, I don't know if I want to sub this, JB. He's a Cowboys fan. I said, no, no, you're good. As long as you're not the Redskins or, as they say, Washington football team now. Just proving a point. Keep calm and hate the Skins. I don't like the Redskins. I'm okay with anybody but them. I don't like the Giants, but 
I like their colors. So, Philly, if you're out there looking and watching, it's just the skins. Don't like them. The Dallas Cowboys can lose every game of the season as long as the skins lose every game of theirs. I am happy. So we need curl on that. I was afraid to put curl that we might go too far right. And we were at 13, now we're at 12 viewers at the moment. So somebody must have been a Washington fan. The Washington football team. So I guess on CloudBot, I have my work cut out for me because I had that son of a gun full of stuff, timers, commands, and everything is just gone. don't know what happened. So that would make sense. KB Chef, what's up, buddy? <clears throat> Thank you for the good luck. Good luck to you. What's for dinner? My wife said she's getting me pizza for tonight. And tonight at 8 o'clock, again, anybody that just coming in, make sure you're back at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. We have a $300 book of scratch-offs we're doing again with some giveaways included. So every few off, every so often with some tickets we'll do of our own, we'll pull them to the side and we'll do a number generator closest to the chosen numbers without going over. We'll be the winner and we'll scratch a ticket for you and see if we can get you some moolah. Everybody will have a chance to win up to Five hundred dollars. I said in an earlier video <clears throat> I was gonna do scratch offs for the giveaways a certain kind of way. I will have to say it in the video that 
YouTube is not sponsoring or affiliated in any way, shape, or form with me. It's all given out of myself to give back and say thanks, and here's a giveaway. Everybody will be offered up to $20. Anything and everything over that is split with the channel 50-50, up to $500 giveaway. So if we hit $1,000, you are going to get $500 and there is every possible chance on the planet that any given size ticket could hit that so y'all make sure to come back at eight o'clock and we will do some scratch offs with some giveaways sushi ribeye steak on friday jerk chicken saturday friday and saturday sounds good i'm not a big sushi fan i've tried that seaweed wrap rice with maybe like something cooked in there okay but not no raw just raw fish no nope if my wife ever comes up with some garbage like that for friday on the food thingy that we've been starting to do here lately nope it's my channel <laughs> i will put a stop to that crap That ain't gonna make it. Let's go with that, I guess. And then we're gonna have to back it off some. I've never had sake, so I'm not sure. Is is it like a strong wine or a beer? Or, from what I my mind says about sake is it's hot, like heat hot. Well, they made it over. I might have been able to, but I was too chicken. The rice wine. <clears throat> Tuck, what's up, buddy? Oh, crap. We're not going to make it. We're going to go for it. What's up, Chuck? How you doing, buddy? Thank you for the good luck, and good luck to you. <clears throat> because of a goose egg, we started with a minus 10 in rookie, a minus 11 in pro. We didn't get a goose egg yet on this account, so hopefully 12 or 13, and we'll just keep trying to climb that ladder. I don't know what rice wine is. I know that's what they call it. I don't know what that means. Shit, that scared me. I saw that just sitting there. I'm thinking, oh, shoot, my turn.
Tonight for me will be pepperoni and mushroom pizza. I did 5% on that and I probably should have went 10 or 15 because if you're way back like he was, I would have played 30%. So if you can get over that center first tee shot over the sand, I would have done 30% on the second shot. But being that far up, I didn't think I would need that much and I should have went 10. With the headwind, I just went 5% uh, max. And if I'd have went 10, that would have probably been best. Because I was about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 too short. <clears throat> I didn't use slider on that. Now we might be able to use the thorn with backspin. If you can get way up on that pad, you got a chance. If you can get to this last pad, you definitely can use the thorn or whatever your favorite short iron club is. I don't use the slider often, so I don't know 20 and 85 slider. I'm not sure on that, to be honest with you, because I really don't use the slider a lot. That gummit. Try for the bounce dunk. Five, seven, forty-eight. We're gonna go five.
If you're at max and pull 15 rings, that's 85% slider. That makes sense. You gotta get to that third pad though on this hole. If you're a thorn user or whatever you like to use, hornet, whatever you do, you gotta get up on that third pad because otherwise it's grizzly range for me. And that bounce dunk it's close but it's just you got to get it offset just right par five five ten percent and then five percent Thank you everybody for those thumbs up. That is really appreciated. Now you're getting into flappy numbers. <laughs> if you know who flappy is. Flappy's like that with all the golf clubs. That guy knows everything with the golf clubs. Is there anybody in the chat out of the 14 of y'all here? Is there anybody that knows how to set a scheduled stream to where it puts it on YouTube and it shows everybody, hey, at this time on this day, this person's going live and you can actually click the set reminder button to remind you. I tried to do that the other day and it just would not for the life of me work. What's up, buddy? Oh no, you came up short. Huh? 
154 away. We are getting so close. Jared A, what's up, buddy? I loved your video y'all just put out yesterday. I watched that one. I still got a lot to learn on them hooks and slices. Should be the same way in YouTube that you go live. Just click on scheduled stream and tell it the time. Now I did that and it never showed on my channel that it was posted and it kept telling me to go to my OBS and click on OBS to do my normal connecting that to the Streamlabs, I mean to the YouTube studios. But if I do that and I click start streaming, I'm, that puts me live. So there was no button or nothing at the end to say done or finish or nothing. It just kind of showed me in the backdrop that I had a video set to schedule, but it didn't show that it was put out there scheduled. I did all that stuff, it had the title, KB came in, another person named Ron came in and said, hey, where are you at? And it almost looked like I was live, but it was set on um, unlisted. So am I supposed to set it as public? Is that maybe why it didn't show? There's no benefit, William, none whatsoever. Um, about a year ago, um, I was chit chatting with a couple different people here and there. And then I got a message asking if I was interested in being a team Tommy streamer. I said, sure. Why not? There's no benefit to it. It doesn't give us any perks. We don't get any insider stuff. We can talk with Tommy on a chat message thing that we're all involved in, but we get nothing up front from nobody, nothing first, no freebies, no none of that. Hey, Playdemic said this. No, there ain't none of that. He has no idea what Playdemic's doing. Playdemic sponsors him. And maybe EA will come into play and start maybe sponsoring some of his videos. I don't know. But um, he just, he works for the place basically. Um, no perks to us whatsoever. We just get the Team Tommy Streamer logo thing. And there's people that love him and there's people that hate him. That's out of my hands. I like the guy. I think he's a good person. He's come into my stream two or three times and said, hey, in the chat, and it's like a movie star showing up at your front door. Hey, it's me, Tom Cruise, how you doing? It's kind of like that. I mean, he is a big shot. He's. 78 or whatever thousand subscribers on his channel and it's all golf class people it's it's pretty pretty neat in a way he does um in his streams if it's not a sponsored stream that's when people in chat can exclamation it's jbtv exclamation um, RJTV, exclamation Matthew, exclamation Ehrlich, exclamation all the Team Tommy players. And our link will come up through his chat any every time somebody does that. And during his streams, it'll say Team Tommy streamers and then they'll put all of us in there so people can see what exclamation to put in there to see certain names. So in some sort of ways, he does throw our names out there. And that's cool. Sometimes it gets us a couple. Sometimes we might lose one or two. You never know. It's all good. Ah, you called me and I, I promise you I didn't send you the voicemail. Let me take a sneak peek. Oh, last night, 611 and 612. I was eating dinner and my phone is always, I don't take my phone with me to the dinner table. I promise I didn't send you the voicemail, but it went to voicemail. How you doing, buddy? All right, hole six. Trente cinco, trente cinco.
I didn't get to my phone until I was about to go to bed last night and I did see the calls last night from you, but it was too late. It was 11-ish when I got to my phone. I was working on cups after dinner too and getting set up for tonight because we're doing scratch-offs with giveaways. So Melly, William, Wesley, all y'all in here. My connection is not good enough. Play damn it! Guess what? Match forfeited. Y'all seen that? Yeah, but my wife's in bed by about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Mm -mm. I can't sit here and talk on the phone to you and try all that stuff because I'll end up waking my wife up. If that gave me a goose egg, we're going to fight, play damn it. And I know y'all are up until 2 a.m. That's why I shut the damn chat thingy off for two days. Not a problem, Wesley. I know you're leaving. I think you leave tomorrow, don't you? Me and Wesley may be getting to meet up soon. It may be on the way back, though, because my wife and I were talking about it. If we meet with you on the way up, you're not going to be until mid late afternoon getting to where you're going to where we would meet with you and it only takes us about five and a half hours to get there which means we would have a long delay of wait time to get to meet up and then that's going to put us real late getting out there to her so we're probably going to wait and we'll go out and do all of the things we're doing then on the way back we'll plan to meet up with you out that way Jenny from the Scratch Block Block Beckett. How are you and welcome in. Let me change you blue and while we're taking our shots, here is a video for you and I'm a poet and didn't know it. I am fantastic. If I was any better, I'd be jealous of myself. But I got a headache. And I got a headache from scratch-offs the other night. How the hell did I go into the freaking rough? Cannot stop the damn ball. Spence, what's up, buddy? Nope. Zero. You give me the rolled eyes, I'll laugh at you, jerk. Well, we did our first ever live stream scratch offs a couple nights ago. And I think my headache is my own fault. I um, scratched this one ticket off and it had five winners. And I saw something to do with a two and I saw something to do with a four. So I'm going, damn it, we got five winners on this ticket. Let's go. And I look down and I start scratching number 24 and it was a big zero. 
I said, oh my God, we got big zeros. I scratched another zero. I'm going, we got five winners on this and it's this. Scratched another zero and a one. And I jump out of my seat and I start throwing my hands up and screaming. And my wife's going, oh my God, what, what, what? And she's over here laying on the bed watching on the iPad, the stream going on. And my buddy's beside me over here. I'm going, wait, 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 shoot. It was the wrong number. <laughs> I scratched the wrong freaking number right next to the four. And it wasn't supposed to be the 24. I was supposed to be scratching a four. And I scratched the wrong one. And I thought we just hit a jackpot of a ticket. And boy, I laughed so hard. My wife says, oh my God, I got to go smoke. And my buddy over here is going, I got to take my heart pills. <laughs> It was a, probably one of the biggest oops I've had in a long, long time. And laughing makes my head hurt because it just, it's been hurting up here in the temple side of my head. And I think when I jumped up and threw my hands up going, yeah, I think I might have pulled a muscle in my neck. So, oh yeah, it was fun. I thought we had a monster ticket on our hands there and no, as Adam put in the chat, hashtag JB fail. That was a oops, but it was funny. You got it, Spence. Nope. Zero. We are going 10%. I wanted to crawl down and get into a fetal position and just suck my thumb until I fell asleep or something because it was, it was that bad. I couldn't believe it. And I've I've goofed here and there before and whatever, but that was that was traumatic. Adam was in the stream when it happened, and it was just. Uh, the good part was nobody saw me on camera. They could hear me screaming on the microphone because I just re-watched that video before I came on. I hadn't seen it. I knew what I did, but I hadn't watched the video and I just watched it today and it still had me laugh thinking of how stupid it was. But we got a $300 book sitting right over there of the $5 ticket gold rush with some giveaway tickets that I picked up yesterday also and we will be back tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern it is 2.09 Eastern now and we'll be back at 8 o'clock tonight to do the book me and our son Justin and Buzzy we went three ways on this book and we have a $600 book that I'm working on getting four more people involved that want to get into it and are interested in doing one of that that book for us or with us not for us with us it's a um, $65 entry fee if you would like to get into that and we have four spots remaining to fill it up so I can then go get the book And it is all brand new to this channel. This is something new that we're trying to see if people like it, if it's working. I need to add more to that. So instead of zero, seven, six, six, nine, I need to go 10%, seven, six.
Awesome, sounds good. You called to help me set it up. I appreciate the offer on the help. It was just, that was too late for me to call you back. I had already, it already got late at night before I saw my phone, I apologize. Once my wife's in bed, if I was to happen to ever go live stream, I'd put it in the title, Silent Stream. Nope, gotta be quiet, cause it'll wake her up. We well, didn't help to begin with, jackass. You tried, but I wasn't by my phone. I don't take my phone to the dinner table. Nope, nope, nope. So we're not doing 5% on this hole. We're doing 15. So when I did the setup on studios and the little screen that we can see our gameplay in, it said something about connecting with OBS. Why? Why would I need to connect with OBS for it to post the stream out that it's a reminder? It's not an actual stream or because I had KB, I had Roy, I had one other name that showed up in chat I wasn't there so I did a video last night just went ahead and posted a non-published video and then made it public saying uh, this is supposed to not be live but KB and Roy's in here and it wasn't it was the old stream key for that setup stream that for some reason was showing people being in there This whole, this whole course sucks. I don't do scratch videos. I've never been live on YouTube. I have no idea how it works. <clears throat> I used to use Streamlabs and Streamlabs, I have a good computer, but the graphics on it is not a good graphics card. It's a built-in card, and I can't change it. I can't make it better or worse. It is what it is for this computer. And the Streamlabs 888 up my CPUs, so I had to stop using Streamlabs and go to regular OBS Studios. So that is what I use and it works great. The hard part is not being monetized. I can either only go live here or I go through an app called Prism and use my phone and then I can go live on my channel just like I would be if I was monetized. So that's a plus to know about the apps and stuff that you can use. <clears throat> but um. Like Melly was saying earlier, I'm 154 away now from that 1,000 mark. When we get there, then I can just do like other people that are monetized do. Just hit the go live button on your phone and boom, there you are. But the OBS works. I just couldn't figure I still haven't figured it out, but how to put a video into the world of YouTube that people that are subscribed to me will say, hey, JB's going live at 8 o'clock Thursday night. You can click the button below it and set reminder and it'll remind you when I at that eight o'clock point. <clears throat> so since I couldn't figure it out, I just keep throwing it out into this one since we are live and try to get uh, 
the heads up that we will be going live at 8 o'clock tonight and we'll have a few scratch offs to do giveaways with. Each and every person for the scratch offs, the way the rules work on it will be basically simple. You can win up to $20 on any scratch off on that we do for the giveaways and then anything over the 20 you will get the 20 and half of whatever it pays up to $500 so if the ticket happened to be a thousand dollar winner you will get $500 I have been, and I am sub to all of them. I have been going into scratching videos and I've been, or streams and stuff. And I've also been going into resellers and watching a lot of their stuff. Cause some of that stuff's interesting and fun to watch. So I have been going in with other places that um, do these things, trying to learn some stuff too. So I'm doing things the way that they do them and it's helping me figure out how they do it, why they do it, and so on. And it's the same way with like them whenever they hit something, a lot of them have the little bell they ring. I got a cowbell. So I always try to go with the flow of what people are doing, but try to make it a little different. I had a screaming chicken and a honking pig. Those were annoying. I listened to that. I'm going, no, that's too much. Honk, honk. <laughs> Just noises going like crazy. That was too much. I appreciate that. <clears throat> didn't work I didn't think it I thought it would need a little more than that mm. I'm a guy I'm allowed to be wrong once in a while it's expected I know one thing though anybody and everybody that does scratch off tickets if you've ever had a book of 60 tickets sitting this far away from you for two days, oh my God, that drives you freaking nuts to not sit there and want to scratch them. Oh my goodness. That is driving me insane with them sitting there. That's why also with the $600 book, I'm not collecting monies until the all 10 spots are full. Then I will get with everybody and get the monies collected. I will go to the bank. I will get the monies out. I will go get the book, come home and probably do them that night because <coughs> $10 tickets are my favorite. And to have $10 tickets sitting there for a few days would eat me alive. These $5 tickets are driving me nuts sitting up there. 
All right, who do we have in the chat that is going to be doing expert? I got a couple of them that are talking about wanting to try to match up with me. We are getting ready to do that right now. Right, right, right now. Give me one second here. I'm gonna cut the music, be right back. Let me switch my account so no secret numbers are seen. I am back. Sorry about the delay. I had to go potty. Uh, Jenny from the scratch. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate that. We will see you tonight around 8 o'clock. Wesley, I am playing one expert, one master, but not going to play till later after I get home. I don't blame you. And Jeffrey says, thanks, JB. For, for what? I'll match next account and stomach that again, so I'm not risking it. Yeah, buddy. I, uh, I had chills and sweats in the middle of the night and it was it was rough and I'm telling you I couldn't lift my arm up and I used my left pointer finger is my play the game with and my shot was in the left arm it was a nightmare Dan you still here 
Did anybody use these thingies? Dental floss little go-go gadgets? These things work pretty good for these things. You pick up your Cheeto cheese puffs with these. Kind of cool. I had, literally, I held my arm up against my body. Mm. These things work good for picking your teeth and picking up cheese puffs. <laughs> like, like Tuck said, and then you floss when you're done. And you get the little bit of after bite that cheese is left on the little prick there. And you can't even put exclamation cheese balls or nothing in because I think we had somebody come in my chat. You know how you can add stuff to the cloud bot? You added the exclamation cheese ball. I think somebody come in the chat and we missed it. And somebody put in probably exclamation delete everything and it did. I'm wondering if that happened because I haven't done anything different and for two weeks now I've had no cloud bot. It might. Let's try this. See if that works. Might not have any points. It might have deleted everything. Cause I even have heist and everything's turned on and everything is just gone all the commands all the everything and I spent many many days filling that stuff up and everybody in here should have crap tons of points because I even did that offline just going into the thing and everybody's name I was adding millions of points to so where people could play do you think that's possible Dan I mean you can add stuff I wonder if somebody could go in the chat when you're not paying attention and somebody do a command to the thing and erase everything if that's the case then everybody's gonna go gray because that's kind of messed up just weird how out of nowhere I've got nothing in the cloud bot. Yeah, that's the problem. It's if somebody did that, if that's possible to do, I'd have to go through the entire sets of videos from my last probably five streams. These are some good cheese puffs. Air Jeff, what is up buddy? Aloha. I didn't learn French from your stream the other day, but it was fun. Welcome in, sir. On Air Jeff's stream, he maxed out his trophies again. Awesome accomplishment there.
Well, I'm thinking yes, if, if people in the chat can add and take away the uh, things from there, that command to erase it all is a very good possibility. 10% do. We'll start with that and see how it looks. About the only thing I know French is when I gotta go to the bathroom, I always say I got a wee wee. Hmm. All right, you don't have the scissors down by your thumbs up down. At least I don't see them. Scissors? What scissors are you speak of? you can make clips of videos you watch I've never seen that I have a YouTube video editor creator thing that I'm still trying to learn that you can watch any video on the planet of YouTube and if you like this thing you stop the video you open up that app, you bring that video in, and you clip out the pieces that you like from it. But I've never seen scissors. Anybody else ever see scissors by the thumbs up or thumbs down?
holes like this, they give you look so many options, but you have so little options to go with. Snip is a new feature this week. That must not have included me. Because Tuck don't see it and I never heard of it. Almost sounds like a blackmail session to me. of that. Got it. So you can go to anybody's video with these little scissor thingies and if you like a part of the video or think something was funny or you want to say oh he said this you can clip that and save it. Just for the sake of Dan, save that. Dan loves it when I use a toothpick with my cheese puffs. If y'all ain't never had these, that hottest ever, it ain't no joke. These are flaming hot like the hot Cheetos, but probably about 25 times hotter than the flaming Cheetos are. They are horrible hot, and I'm telling you, they're hot. I like hot stuff and they're hot. I just got hiccups thinking about how hot they are. We are doing five account. I've only been on just under three hours now. I got this one in my main account left. Five accounts will put us right around four, and I don't know why in the hell my ball didn't make it over. I 
I don't know. But we can't reach nothing from here. If I'd have done an extra ring of OP, I'd have hit the rough. I only landed that close to the rough on that P shot. Hopefully they make this and they get us saved. All the shaking going on they ain't going to make it. I'm right there with you. I should do that, but I don't. Christmas in July, Christmas in July. Unfortunately, next week, I will not be playing any tournaments. I won't be here. And where we're going has garbage for service. I'd kind of rather we have went this week instead of next week. Missed the mini instead of the full tournament.
We have 16 people in here. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for the thumbs up again, as always. <clears throat> Anybody new? 154 people away from 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. Every one of you. Again, if anybody is new, come back tonight at 8 o'clock. We will be doing scratch-offs with giveaways. And on the giveaways, they will be your choice on what you're going to get. Because I have a card 1 through 15. You will pick the number off the card you want. Each of the tickets have numbers written on the back of them. You will pick your own fate. Your own destiny. So when somebody says, this is rigged, you rigged it yourself. What's up, buddy? Thank you for the good luck. Good luck to you. If you're just getting here tonight at 8 o'clock, make sure to come back. We're going to be doing a full book of 60 tickets. It's a $300 book of $5 scratch-offs. And we'll be doing some giveaways in the mix of them. We'll scratch a few of ours off in the beginning and get it rolling a little bit. Get some people in. We'll see how many we have. We'll do a number generator. Have everybody pick one guess and one guess only. Pick a number. Closest without going over. We'll get the first giveaway. Everybody has the same rules on it. You can win up to 20 bucks. And then after $20, anything up to $1,000 will be split in half. So if it's a $1,000 winner, you are getting $500. let that go like a horse's ass
Ooh, they got a little bit of a headwind on this one. not bad I am. I just, I didn't watch much of his video. I just clicked at each section just to write some elevations down. I just did that one at 40 because it had that little bit of headwind. But his showed a um, 35 for that. And that's, this is my fourth attempt in different levels. And it's the first time I've stopped on the freaking green. I keep going past the green into the rough. What's up, T Nick? 100% take the birdie and run. I never, ever have I gone for the rough bump on this, and I saw Tommy post it at 35%. I said, I'll try it. Just try to get on the green. This whole, I don't like this course. This course sucks. I don't like it. I'm gonna go into a practice real quick and see what to do on this for a hook shot. I never, ever, ever do this, but I just, I wanna try it before I jump in there and go. It was. I'm, I don't use clubs that they use and balls that they use. I did see Tommy posted at 35% on whatever the thing, the shot was, but it, um, I don't use the rock in those clubs. 7 1. I think I've used a rock once. That ain't it. So pushing back up is a bad idea.
We're just gonna do a regular shot. I'm not gonna sit around and wait on that. Roll Tide, Roll Tide. I didn't think my top spin was enough to go that far. Glitchy freaking ball gags. He hit almost triple great left and he missed to the right. Thank you, Wesley. Ooh, thank you, Drama. I don't do this. I don't like using different clubs like this.
And on Tommy's notes also, he's got this at showing 5%. Nope. I tried it three times at 5%. What worth dog diggity. Stay up in the center there, you did good, my friend. Eight, six. Yep, that's where I was at, 15 men, and it was still too much. Maybe could have gone with a lesser ball, but we'd have had worse wind. The Clannibals. I haven't played a Clannibal in forever. can't think of who there's so many of them but the name Joe there's a lot of Joes there's a lot of JB's How you doing, drama? You feeling okay? I know where you're at. It's your mind making you think you're sick, and you're not. It's that shot playing tricks on your brain. You get all the symptoms of the flu, but you don't really have it. But the hurt of the arm, that ain't in your mind. That's That stuff hurts.
Don't hit that rock. Jerk. <sighs> exact same boat I was just in. I probably should have went that side with backspin. Now I gotta try to hit perfect again. <clears throat> now there ain't no harm, no foul. You ain't being wimpy or nothing like that. If you ain't feeling good, give yourself a rest. Cause it's gonna probably take a couple days to feel better. Eek. I hope that don't block him. Thank you, thank you. clicks later we'll be there and one window closing better clear out this one because if drama is going to match up with me I'm going to be getting a bunch of chests <laughs> I'm going to have to kick his ass you can tell me and Omar were playing the other night Marlin ball on there Okay. 
You type in the chat when you are ready. And we got about probably a three or four second delay. So I'll say go and then on about three, I'll hit go. So go. Are you playing on the drama name? I'm going to kick your ass picture. Those pictures show up, man. They make me nervous. But, oh, crap. This guy's on a holding one of par five. Screw this. I ain't putting no top spin on. I keep damn going in the rough. Maybe I might play it safe. Come on, Pizza Thirty, I'm getting hungry. Those little chippies were not enough. Adrian, what's up, buddy? Mm, not horrible, but could be better. 
definitely could be worse. We've got minus 10, minus 11, minus 11, minus 12, and that goes rookie, pro, pro, expert. And I can never, ever, ever, ever again scratch off the wrong number on a scratch off. The headache just will not go away. Just another brick in the wall. Ready, set, go. Get dots and we'll back out. We'll go right back in. When it spins this long, you're going to get a replay. Almost never will it match up when it's spinning that damn long. 100 because it was played around Christmas time. They look at it as a Christmas movie. It's not a Christmas movie. It's a murder movie. They're having Christmas in July, so they're playing Die Hard in the Rambo movies and all that kind of stuff. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Home Alone is a Christmas movie. Christmas Vacation is a Christmas movie. It's a murder movie. There's a lot of murder. I wanted so bad when I was chauffeuring before COVID, I took a, um, a person over to the Four Seasons Hotel in Disney, and when I dropped off my guest, lo and behold, there's him and his wife getting out of their car. I wanted so bad, but I had to be professional, so I didn't. I wanted to just yell, yippee ki -yay, and see if he yelled back, motherfucker. <laughs> but I had to be professional. I couldn't do it. I wanted to so bad. 
There was Bruce Willis right there with his wife. And I have a feeling he would have said it. But then again, if he was in a bad mood, I could have gotten in trouble for that. Y'all excuse me just one second. I'm going to do my bad habit. He's ready. Let me get the camera back going here. Whenever you are, I think I got everything I need. I might switch my ball in the middle of it. Go! This time I won't back out and we got Harley. Quick match. Yeesh. Thirteen seven with a basic ball. This hole is confusing. That's a big ass mountain to climb up on the other side there. I only did what I just did there because I can't reach from that back side and you can't reach from the first sand so if I get to that second sand I should be able to reach and just get up there safe. What the freak did you use to overdrive the green? Snow globe? Or the spirit ball maybe? Jesus. Was that a 600 and something yard drive? So to go for the safe eagle, you get 10, 11 mile an hour wind, just get over that second hump there and to get into the sand, you can still make it. Well, at least I had the 
Spitfire on, so that helped a little bit with distance. But you should still be able to bounce over that sand trap with your second shot if need be. So 15 people here. Hola, what's up, buddy? 15 of you here, any other interest? I got Wesley that's in here. Jeffrey, he's part of the list. Need four out of the 15 of you that would be interested in joining this scratch off tickets coming up real soon. As soon as we fill the roster, I will be getting the tickets and we will get it going. Tonight at 8 o'clock, we'll be back again for a $300 book of scratch-offs. There's one of my four chests, but I haven't played drama yet to get the other three. Get that nine-hour jerk cooking. What were the challenges? Nothing. Pull four, headwind, ten, I'm going to have to switch that, you're ready, set, and go. Give me the spooky face. about matching up. It could have something to do with us being in the same clan too. People say that they don't match up very often if they're in the same clan. I don't know how that works. It's two people playing. What does it matter? They can look back and see if people are cheating. There ain't no cheating going on over here. I don't lie, cheat, or steal. Period. It's probably about, like he's saying, anywhere from about three to five seconds. However, the, um, let me get set up here. With the delay and the spinning and spinning and freaking spinning crap going on, it's hard to say what the time is, but it's about three to five seconds with the stream. <clears throat> Let me make sure I'm showing live. So when I go one, two, three, about three and a half, four seconds that I see myself raise my hand. 
in the YouTube studios. So Adrian, if you try to match up, what name are you playing under so we know? He's playing under the drama name, so if you get some scary face with the name drama, that's who that is. Ready, set, go. Very nice. We'll give you a boom in here for that one. Nicely done. I don't think I've ever had the Grim Reaper in a bag. Even when I when it first came out and I was brand new at the game, I don't think I used it. That went a long ways. Where did they go? They went straight up ahead. Seven, four. Can't give you a nope zero on that one because you got it. Drop down to 5%. Give you one of them too.
That wasn't even close. Nice job. I can't do booms in the chat anymore, so I'll throw them up there. I'm gonna have to redo my entire freaking chat box. I cannot believe it. That thing takes forever to fill up the stuff. wasn't even close. We're gonna go 40. And we will go to stick with that. Ready, set, go. I got matched up so fast and it went to the game so fast I didn't even have time to see who the hell it was. I got Afro. I hope his hair's out of his way. I got that too. Every other shot I did outside of Expert, full backspin wasn't enough. Now the shots I'm shooting are too much. Don't fenzel the putt. Seven, ten percent. All right. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. We're not gonna use so much top spin, and I think we're good. <clears throat> as soon as I see you say ready, I'll say ready. You hit the button.
Ready. Electric golf. Seventy five. Oh no! Bye bye. What kind of score are you on right now? You dropped the Abbey, so you should probably be, I don't know, where are we at? Um, seven, we must be seven and 10. Oops. Because I have the backspin, I'm not taking off the APOC. Not doing it. Actually, where are you playing out of? Cause I'm here, I'm over here in Orlando, Florida. Where are you at? If you're in the states, it shouldn't really matter. On your mark, get set. 
go. In the UK, oh, are you on a VPN? That would be why if you're not over here in the States. I don't have VPN. It's like with Dale when he's on his streams, <clears throat> if he don't put himself in the United States, we can't ever match up with him. He gets all them A people. Sit and spin. Have to earn your power a little bit here. And still not enough. As long as it stays out of the rough. my camera going blurry. Whenever you're ready. Go. 
One, two, three. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Caveman. Captain Caveman. Go, 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 go. What's up, Jarhead? How you doing, buddy? Oh, KB Chef is back. Had phone calls. We are on the last toll of the last name. Four hours and almost ten minutes into it and I've tried to match up with drama for the last nine holes and to no avail this course sucks for those that don't know or don't remember we both tried buddy it's all good this course used to be tour 12 for the most part and they've moved it into tour 10. It's a difficult, difficult, difficult course. 78. I'll take it. I think that'll give us a 13. If I make that one. Once you get used to that iPad, there ain't no going back to no damn phone. Mm -mm. No siree, Bob. You might as well just try to play with a mouse on a freaking computer. Thirteen will put me on the top. I'll take that. So we went with rookie, <laughs> minus 10, two pros, both minus 11, 
first expert minus 12 and I think we got a minus 13 on this definitely could do better just gotta kind of get a little more brave with some of these tailwinds for the send them shots minus 13 And all them people below going. That mother heifer from Bubba Clan, son of a bitch. Oh, there's a seven and nine. Good catch. Five and seven. Thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate it. We got two chests out of that. Now, if we can get out of regulation zone, we still got a long ways to go. Move the freaking names out of the way. 17 days left. The scores are crazy. Tops got to be in hundreds of thousands. 201, of course. How the hell they become a part of us, I'll never know. So we got one, two, two, one, three, one, 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 two. Well, I'm glad you're not in my bracket drama because then you would have had the tiebreaker with your albatross. All righty, we are at 4.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we are at four hours and 15 minutes into this one we are going to call it for now and back in four hours hopefully we eat something before the scratch offs not after the scratch offs because then it's going to be late so my wife says she's ordering me pizza for dinner I am excited about some pizza. Gonna get with you soon on a couple of tumblers. You got it, brother. See you later, KB Chef. Appreciate you stopping back in, buddy. So again, there's 17 people here. If anybody happens to be new that just recently came in, Jarhead, anybody, anybody and everybody's welcome. We have a $600 scratch-off book that we're wanting to buy. I have four spots left available. There are six of us signed up for it. Four more to fill up the roster of 10. It's $65 to enter. We'll send over PayPal, what have you. When everybody is signed up and into it, we will go get the monies out of the bank. We will go straight to the store. We will get the book. We will bring it back. And possibly that same day that I get the book, we will get on it and do a live stream and scratch it off and we will all 10 split whatever we win whether it be half our money back or we hit the big jackpot of a billion dollars whatever it is will be split up equally between all 10 of us so if anybody is interested please hit me up on this and let me know Jimmy Brown Jr. J-I-M-M-I-E Brown Jr. on Facebook most of y'all are on my name with Facebook already Send me a message over there. Say, hey, I'm in. I want in. If you want two spots, you have two spots. Um, but we need four more people to get into this, and then we can go get that book and get it going. Tonight at 8 o'clock, we're coming back on live from the dining room area. Uh, we're going to be using my phone with an app because I'm not monetized yet. 154 more subscribers, and we're at 1,000. And then we can go live from anywhere from YouTube, but I have to use an app with my phone to be able to go live outside of right here. So y'all come back at eight o'clock and we'll do some scratch offs. We have a full book of $300 worth of $5 tickets. And we have some other smaller scratch offs that we're gonna be doing giveaways with. So you can win up to $500 yourself. Anything from $1,000 down, you get half of it. Um, if you get a scratch out that's a smaller amount, you went up to $20, and everything over $20 is split in half. So if you hit $500, you get $250. If you hit $1,000, you get $500.
So y'all come back and see that when it's coming on at eight o'clock Eastern time tonight. I am going to find my music and cut it. And there is the thank you for watching video coming your way. Cheers, Adrian. Jarhead, take care, buddy. Wesley, my brother. Russell, let me know whenever you're ready, buddy. I got a couple turners open. I will be gone all next week um, for the most part going to Alabama and Kentucky. So next week, I won't be able to start or get anything going because I won't be here. We will see you guys in about four hours and 40, 50 minutes-ish. Bye for now. Good luck on your rounds. Go kick some ass.